I'm at the dealership yet again. It's Mr. Films with another one. Yeah. Kids, grandmother probably gonna cook, and go over there, stuff myself up. Yeah. All right. I ain't gonna lie. I like the cranberry sauce that come in the can. It's good, especially with that stuff in the turkey. Right, you can't. You can't. At least a little bit. Just put a little bit on that, see if you like. You know, you know, certain family members be like, try this and put a big old scoop in. I'd be like, nah, I don't want. To. Calm down. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all. Right. All, everything on one plate. Yeah. So we gonna go ahead and step outside. Wait for the boss man to bring them keys up. But we got another car here that I've been wanting to review for a while. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. You see that thing? I ain't even gonna tell you what car that is. We're gonna wait on it, okay? But the thing got some crazy lights, the insides is everything electronic. So Y'all keep watching and wait on that car review. It's an Audi, though. That's all I, All the information I'm going to give you is an Audi. Look at the wheels on that. Mm. All right, y'all, we back. So... I just got the keys to the Nissan. 
go ahead and unlock this door. Doors unlocked, we gotta hit the driver's side. Hi. Oh, it's bright in here. Oh, okay. You got the sunroof open. Already ready for you, boy. Play, boy. Oh, okay. My bad. I gotta um close this. See, that works. I'm gonna stop messing with it because I don't know how it fully works. Ooh, so just like the Dodge I did, the Durango I did the other day, which was uh what 2012, I think, or 2015, something like that. I did that review. It's the same enough space. It's a it's a little bit different. Um like I'm gonna give you another view so you can see. Nice leather all over the car. Even the the dash. Is this leather? I don't know. Don't get me the line, but it feels like just like the seats. Functional radio. Since it's not touch screen, I guess it has all these buttons. That would be on the screen if it wasn't if it was touch screen all them buttons wouldn't be on there you even got leather you got leather on the on the the, the gear suit come on now can't go wrong with that Got your air controls up there on top, and you got it on the bottom. Well, actually, these are for the rear of your car, and these control your window, your uh, sunroof. You got the leather on the steering wheel. And what year is this? This is I gotta figure out what year car this is. But other than that, this car leathered out. You got you a big armrest. Oh, this gotta be like a 2012 probably. You got a whole lot of CD player, DVD player. With the remote. But the DVD player right there, we'll get back to that when we get to the back seat. But yeah, like for this to be an older car, and it is, like it's back a few years, that DVD player will come in handy due to me having kids. Put them a DVD in there, pop them on, hit that road trip. You ain't gonna hear nothing. <laughs> Unlike that Durango, you gonna hear all that yelling, crying, or whatever back there. You put on a movie for them kids, they ain't gonna say nothing. I've been having the music playing the whole time. Hey, sometimes you make mistakes, but 
we're gonna go ahead and get to the back of this car and see how spacey it is spaces it is back there got a little tongue tied before i even get out of the car you got the type of nissan amada it is platinum on the seats you'll see a lot of cars doing that now see what it feels like to sit in the back of this car your door handle is right here on the door it ain't even like on the bottom where most cars will have their door handle for the back door at. But I'm in the back seat, well, the middle, because there is a third row in this car. Like I said, you got your DVD player. Pop that on for the kids. Watching a little movie, you know what I'm saying? I would cut it on, but I don't want to do that right now. It works though, for sure. I hate to be the person sitting in that back seat. Can't even get out unless you're going through the trunk or somebody let you out. Dang, man, mustache just growing all over my lip. Yeah. And like in most cars, you get what you pay for. When you're paying a little bit more money, you get that leather. You get cloth when you can't afford all that. Wood grain. Why well, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't prefer this color color because the more you sit on it, it's just gonna get dirtier and dirtier. They maintain this leather in here, so it worked out for them. It wouldn't work out for me. I'd be doing too much. I don't have cuts in the leather, dirt marks all over the leather. Kids turning black and brown. But if you're gonna clean it, it might work. This is the view from the back. Well, from the middle row. Only thing you probably gotta worry about when you sit, when the, um, when you either, if you the passenger back here and you grown or teenager, adult, you ain't got nothing to worry about. But when these kids sitting in this middle seat, you more than likely probably have to just worry about them pressing buttons on the DVD player, restarting it, you know, stuff like that. Other than that, DVD player gonna keep them quiet. It's enough room back here for multiple people. Three, three in this middle row. I say even three in the back. So that's six in the back, two in the front. That's eight people in this car. And knowing whoever you might be, you might be able to fit more people than that in here. We're gonna go ahead and hop out this middle seat and go ahead to this back. See how spacious that trunk is. Before I even look at it, I ain't even looked at the trunk. I ain't even opened the trunk or nothing, but I would think there ain't that much space in this trunk for this Jeep. You have your trunk space. Like I said, big Jeep, good seating. Trunk just not as big as I thought it would be. Hey, it might be comfortable for some of y'all. You got your trunk back. I don't know how much you're gonna fit in there. I guess that's just for the carpets and the car jack or something. And these, you don't actually lift these seats down. You press a button and it does it for you. It's 
see. Oh, you gotta hold the button. Okay, though. You ain't gotta break your back to pull that seat up. See how you just hold the button, press it. What? All cars need that. Most definitely. You can even do the other side. Let's see. Let's go. They moving too slow for me though. Hurry up, get in the car. No, no, no. Man, you moving too slow. I, I'd rather do it by myself. But it's convenient though for older people. Or people that can't function as good as well. People that ain't hurt or handicapped or anything like that. So that that'll come in handy for somebody when they going in the trunk. Let's go ahead and close this trunk. So the button does actually work. I was just using it wrong. You got your backup camera. We ain't even gonna go to the uh, back seat. We already been back there. This is the passenger side. So you got your step ladder on there. So you know, just step into the car. I about fell back. Now we in the passenger side. So sitting in here as a passenger, feels, I feel like I got enough space in here. And like the other Jeeps I sat in, they got like, they had space in those Jeeps, but it's just like, you still feel a little claustrophobic in them. Like you just all tight and got no room to move. But like in this, in this Jeep, you got, you can rest your arms on the arm, the shoulder. You got enough room. It's like none of the seats are close to you, like leg wise. And this Jeep does sit a little higher. I don't know how tall it is compared to the other cars, but compared to that Jeep, compared to that Durango and that Jeep uh, Wrangler. And of course, the, um, what's the name of that car? The Subaru Crosstrek. This car sits a little higher than those cars. So, you can see majority of the road and out the front window. You got the turn signals on here. Yes, I am using my iPhone to record this. And videos look good. And you got your key turn. This as long as you got the key fob on you, that's how you crank the car up and turn it on and all that extra stuff. With that knob right there, that is not a key, that is a knob. So, what do I think about this car? The Nissan Armada Platinum. I get it. I like it. Good leather. I wouldn't go for the color. I wish it. I wish it could have been a darker color. But since it's well up, like the leather was kept up good and looks like it's been clean the way it's supposed to. There's not too much roughage, no damage in this car. Good armrest, storage cup holders, DVD player for the kids especially. That'll work for me, as you see it in the background. Third row seating. Trunk space could have been a little better in this Jeep. But all in all, this car won this round. The Nissan Armada. Go get you one.